seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with a K vanilla server on the island. And as you can see, we're talking about the Spino today. The second TLC pass has come through actually a couple days ago at this point. I'm just now getting to the Spino. I've been super, super busy, but I'm excited to cover this thing, guys. And if you end up finding this video the least bit informative or entertaining, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a ton. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. So there's been some changes with the Spino. And I'm ready to cover them. Let me tell you what it says uh, online uh, as far as the changes. So not only did it receive a model update, which we'll look at in just a second. I know you can't see the whole thing. Uh, an animation update, texture update, and it's got some new abilities. So it gets a water buff. And this water buff uh, is given when in the when, when, when in the water. Uh, it's <laughs> It gets bonus movement speed, bonus turning radius, bonus attack damage, bonus healing. And it uh, persists for a short time after leaving the water. It also now has a biped mode, so it'll stand up on its back legs. It'll get some stronger attacks with that, and it'll be able to turn in place kind of like a scorpion where you just kind of move your view around. And it'll actually turn that way. And then uh, it is faster in quadruped um, mode than it is in biped mode. And now it prefers prime fish for taming. So I'm standing here with my buddy that I tamed earlier in this vanilla season uh, who turned out to be absolutely completely worthless, and I never even named him. Those of you who watch the vanilla series, you know what I'm talking about. This dude, I think he was like a 112 or 116, and he had about nine points in health. And he was so pitiful that I couldn't I couldn't turn him away. So I went ahead and tamed him. As you can see, I probably hadn't used him in, in forever. He's got 25 points to pump. Let me go ahead and just... Okay, this would be a good point, to actually, to look at the uh, at that level up animation. A little tail swagger. Actually, it looks really cool. Like, I'm digging, I'm digging the uh, texture changes and the new skin. Like, I do think that is an improvement. It's not huge. It's not as huge as I was expecting. But there is definitely a change here. Let's go ahead and do... Man, he's pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and do that uh, level up animation again real quick since we missed like half of it because I was blabbing on. Here we go. That's really cool. I like it. And while we're at it, we might as well see what it looks like. For, I, guess, I wish I could access you from a little farther away so I can actually see like the whole animation. Uh, let's go ahead and feed you. Oh. Okay, yeah, it doesn't get, doesn't really get simpler than that. Let's try that again. He pretty much, okay. No, no special little dance. Not going to do a special little dance for me. Okay, that's fine. So let's take a look here real quick at some of the different animations. Uh, let's go ahead and start with walking because, I mean, walking, you can see how his feet kind of flare out a little bit more, uh, which is, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, he kind of looks like, I mean, it feels more dinosaur-like, I guess, more lizard-like. It reminds me of like a, one of those sand lizards. And then watch when he runs. I don't know. Kind of feels like a, yeah, like a seal flopping across. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Let me K mode when I run back this other way. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better from the side. Get out of the way. Just like that. I don't know. I mean, it almost looks like he's creeping right now. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that or not. It is different. I don't think it's bad. I just, I don't know. There's something about it that throws me off a little bit. He's also got a roar now with the C button. That it's, I'm not sure. I don't know. I would expect something a little more terrifying from the Spino for some reason. But it's cool the way his tongue like flaps around. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm digging that. But it's cool the way his tongue flaps around. That's kind of cool. It'd be neat if this uh, Spino actually got the hydrated buff while it was raining. You know, it could be like your your rainy day mount, and it just got crazy, like, rain buffs. I don't know. I don't know why that would be a thing. All right, let's take a look at this biped stance, which is, like, my new favorite thing in the world. That looks absolutely amazing. Check this out. That's so cool. It's like he's doing up-downs or something. One. Tab it, tab it. Two. Tab it, tab it. If you think I'm going to baby you, you are wrong. You are a Spino. Act like it. Those of you who haven't seen Major Painter are probably majorly confused by, by, by what just happened. I don't know. It just reminded me of doing up downs or something. Looks really cool. Let's see what this movement is like in biped. So I think it is supposed to be quite a bit slower. We'll take a look at this comparatively 
in just a second but what i am interested in seeing right now is it's supposed to do more damage in biped uh stance so let me get back in quadruped on all fours here and let's do an attack on this training dummy looks like we're hitting for about 1500 so now let's get up to biped and let's hit it again after all this clears out biped instead of 1500 we're hitting for 2300 which is quite a bit different and it doesn't feel like the attack slows down actually let me clear this out and let's just go ahead and spam it as quick as we can and see what the dps is okay looks like what's that 28 43 and let's go ahead and go back on all fours and i'll spam it again here in just a second uh he definitely does seem to attack maybe a little bit quicker in, in quadruped so it's not that much of a difference by the time you take into account the the speed of the attack 2500 to 2800 that's really not that much different so the other thing was that they do get uh this hydrated buff right so they're supposed to do uh bonus damage whenever they're in the water and, and this and this does apply to the ocean and the rivers at least from what i can tell so far and we'll check that out in just a second so what i'll do now is we'll compare the uh, quadruped to land which again was 1579 and then let me get over here to am i in k mode it seems real weird okay and then we'll get over here you can see in the top right hand corner that i have the hydrated buff your dino speed health regeneration and damage are boosted so now you know I, this, this this level of thing at the top of the screen is gonna get on my nerves one second now in the water with the hydrated buff instead of 15 we're hitting for 1800 so that's a pretty significant difference if we get up on biped mode let this clear out and now we do it we're hitting for 2700 i believe on land without this now you can see up there it, it per, uh, persists for an additional oh god i can't even talk it persists for 30 seconds after you get out of the water long, long story short <laughs> you still get that buff for 30 seconds once you get back on land so let's see i think this was what 2300 on on uh, land yeah so there is a difference there it's not a huge huge difference at least in the damage department uh but it is a significant difference it can make the difference in a fight for sure also i just realized we didn't really look at it turning in place so now that we're in biped mode we can totally just turn in place like you would on a scorpion which is pretty amazing now when we go back on all fours it's the same terribleness we were stuck with before actually i mean the turning radius does seem a whole lot tighter than it was before it's not amazing but it is a whole lot tighter than it was before so now we're supposed to get bonus movement speed when we're in the water as well so let's take a look at that right now this is me walking on land in quadruped mode let's go ahead and get in the water yeah i mean you can see that speeds up a little bit let me let this 30 seconds run out and we'll sprint a little bit all right no buff we'll go ahead and sprint here and then i'll get in the edge of the water and we'll see if we can see him take off a little bit oh yeah that's definitely a difference in movement speed like quite a bit of a difference in movement speed also here we'll let this once this wears down to about i don't know five seconds i'll take off sprinting and we'll see how much it slows down okay five seconds let's go ahead and take off and let's see how much it slows down boom oh yeah that's a noticeable difference so that's kind of cool i mean they're giving you incentive to keep the spino close to water i assume it would be the same thing whenever you're in biped stance so here's my sprint <laughs> which is a little pitiful and then let's go ahead and get in the water yeah definitely takes off dude how cool is that that's like the image of intimidation right there it's amazing so it mentions a bonus turning radius when in the water let's go ahead and see without the the bonus the hydrated buff what that turning radius looks like i mean it's still i mean even without being buffed that's not too bad let's go ahead and just stick our little pinky toe in the water real quick splash there we go and then now let's get over here and let's take a look at the turn radius with the buff i suppose that's tighter it doesn't look significantly tighter to me it doesn't feel like it's that much of a difference but i guess it does look like he's he's uh hitting a little tighter circle there let's check out their speed in the water real quick and this will be a good way to test if the uh buff persists even when we're way out in the ocean dude he slowed way farther down in the water than i was anticipating 
Now look at this. So now that I'm out in the ocean, I may have lied to you earlier. I think I lied to you earlier. Because now it's ticking down like the buff doesn't apply out here. Yeah, I totally 100% lied to you. Ha! Hope you watch this far so you can get accurate information. Uh, yeah, the uh, it does not persist out in the ocean. So, that was like a Valentine's Day shark or something right there. So again, they're just give, giving you incentive to keep the Spino in the rivers and around the rivers uh, where its natural habitat would be. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can leave this thing in biped and then hop off and leave it parked that way at the base because it's definitely, as soon as you hop off, it goes back to quadruped. I mean, I was just looking forward to having these just standing guard at the gate because that looks terrifying. All right, so lastly here, let's go ahead and check out the difference in the healing rate. So I'm gonna get this buff. It should uh, persist for 30 seconds after I get back on land. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and smack him with my pike and then we'll see if we notice a point here where this slows down, the healing rate slows down. Definitely right there must have been whenever this wore out because that was a big time change in the healing rate. So that's awesome. That's awesome that you can uh, significantly boost their healing rate just by getting in water. Again, another incentive to stay around water. So um, I think we've just about covered everything here. Let's see. We covered the animations. We covered the skins. We covered the biped mode. All of that jazz. We covered the different water buffs. I think all there is left to do is see if we can come up here breed them up and see what a baby Spino looks like. I think the only thing I'm disappointed with is how absolutely, of course I'm not gonna be able to show it right here, how absolutely slow they move once they get into actual open ocean. So I feel like here on the shores and along the rivers, they're moving along, scooting along pretty well. You get into the water and it just kind of sinks. So they're not really, I guess they're discouraging you from making them ocean mounts but more river mounts for sure. Look at the, the speed difference. All right, so any second now, we should have a little baby Spino. I'm anxious to see what it looks like. Get down here and crawl around with it. Oh, you're larger than I thought you were gonna be for some reason. Let's say, okay, I hate the full size tail. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. The little stubby legs and the giant head, I don't know, for some reason got me. I don't know, I don't know. Up to baby, okay, let's give him a chance, come here. Maybe it's just because his face is glitched in the wall. <laughs> okay, stop. Stop right there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the eyes throwing me off. He does look cool. Looks pretty pretty adorable for um a spinal baby, I guess. I don't know. This will actually let us look at the walk a little bit better. Huh. Oh, it is kind of cool the way the, the spine swags back and forth like that. I don't know that I've ever seen one walk before, so maybe that does the same. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Maybe that <laughs> maybe that hasn't changed. I don't pay attention to those kind of little details, but it does actually not look so bad now uh, that I'm seeing it like this. But guys, I think that's just about all there is to cover with the Spino. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the new skin? What do you think of the... Whoa, bro. Calm down, buddy. Trying to do an outro here. Okay, yeah, I'm totally stuck on your face. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the new skin. What do you think of the new textures? What do you think of the new animations? And how do you feel about the buffs that they gave them? Guys, remember, if you found this video the least bit informative or entertaining, I really would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Why wouldn't you? You're already looking for TLC info, and I'm making a bunch of TLC info. You already like watching ARC. I'm already making ARC videos. Swing by my channel. I've got an ARC vanilla series uh, between the island, Ragnarok, and Aberration. And then I've also got... A crazy modded series with Pugnacia going on as well. I know you'll enjoy it. And until we meet again. Avian.